What is up? We got some new carriers. I was expecting old stuff. Um, thermostat. Thermostat was labeled number three. Let's check my notebook out. Um, I was told. I was told there was a water leak. There's not a water leak. Y'all have that same problem? Dispatch says water leak. You show up, they're like, nah, it's just not cool. I, I'll bet, because the disconnects aren't labeled, I'll bet the new units haven't been labeled, and I'll bet my thermostat is labeled from prior. Let's keep working now. There's some hiding behind here. It's on this side. It's like a front row of offices over here. So, they said they didn't think it was cooling. Alright. So we got new mixed with old. I got cooling here. I got cooling here. This feels a little cold. Like I don't yeah, maybe it's one stage. Uh, they're not, these aren't that old. Let's, uh, oh, damn it, man. I wish something was labeled. Make this a lot easier. Everything here is running, like I said, it's on this side, so it's got to be one of these units. I don't know what that thermostat controls. It was set on like 69 and it's 73 in there. So let's do a little investigating, see what we can figure out. So the first guy's satisfied. This guy's still running. Um, economizer's closed on this guy. There's no economizer on that one. I'll open this up. Trying to keep my water from getting everywhere. First thing I notice is this. It's like a temperature switch, freeze stat or something. It's broke. So that's gonna have something locked out, I would assume. The economizer here is close to, this looks like a two-stage unit and maybe they're using orange for second stage. Uh, let's get into the control panel on this one. I'm gonna assume this is my problem because there's two compressors and Somebody left me a light inside. I can see it. It's a work light right there. Let's take that control panel off. You got a lot of installers. How about that? I don't know who installed these, but that makes it nice. And as suspected, I said this one might have one stage. I got no compressors running. So I'm gonna assume this is my problem. And there's another, I guess that's an outdoor air sensor. Let's tear this apart and see what the hell they're doing with these sensors. It's got that damn I seen Rick do a video or something on these stupid economizers, not a J, they're pieces of junk, honestly. And this is a carrier, so I'm gonna bet. I got a cap tube rubbing somewhere. Carrier's gotta have a cap tube rubbing. Take the control panel off. Look at the diagram and see if we can find out what this stuff does. Why? I just noticed that. Alright. Let's get the control panel off and go from there. 
All right. Cooling system problems, flyer temp drop for CC1 insufficient. Okay, so that makes sense. I haven't dealt too much with these Blemos. Somebody left the jumper. But it's the cooling's not sufficient because it's not seeing a temp drop. It's got wires hanging. Let's turn it off. And decide, and take a look at our wire diagram, see where all this shit ties in. I guess we'll ohm out that compressor and see why. I mean, did it fall off? Was it pulled off? I don't know, I'm not sure which one's stage one. They're tandem compressors. So let's uh, start figuring that stuff out. This looks like it's that gray wire that goes over to the free stat and the return. That, I haven't seen that on these before. So let's find it and see what we can do to get around it. Y1 and Y2 is jumped out. God bless. You gotta love installers. At least they left me a light this time. It still works too. So if we come down here, FPT, if you look over here, is your freeze protection. Uh, it's condensate overflow and FIOP field installed option. MTS is a mixed air temperature switch. That might be actually what we're looking at. I don't know. And then low pressure switch, but it all ties back into low pressure on the control board, which is right there, low pressure. So if we get in there and do that, we can see no tone. We're open. Let's go back around. I've not seen that yet. Let's, uh, I don't know. We gotta get this jumped out somehow. And that's labeled LPS, so that's probably going back to the low pressure. It's running series through all the safeties. So let me get a watch. Just get a wire. We'll stick that wire in there and just go check it, make sure, and then we'll should be able to cycle it on. We need to hold that compressor out first, make sure nothing's wrong with it. So I dropped my wire, got my jumper, I think that should be good enough. It's hard to get in there. There we go. All right, so that's closed. Let's ohm out our compressor. Make sure the compressor's okay. And we'll check the phasing. I don't know who installed these. Get off continuity. I don't need I don't need you beeping at me. 4.7. 4 4.7. 4 4.7. It seems like I wasn't exact I wasn't expecting 4.7. Let's check the other one. 4.7, okay. All right, good enough. They're all the same, so these things should run. Let's uh, check our, well, the hell with it. The phasing, I'm assuming the phasing is gonna be correct, but turn it on, we'll hear it. You'll hear it if it comes on. Return air sensor not detected. Outdoor dry bulb. It's still showing me the alarms. 
don't do that with a metal screwdriver. It seems like this is a better idea. Yeah. Sounds about right. So our phasing's correct. I might have to dig into this. Like I said, I don't know who installed them. I don't know whose job it was to start them up, but we may have solved our problem. I need to go down and see uh, why we've got, if it's, unless it's a single stage thermostat, we should be able to uh, stage the compressors would be better. But again, I'm not gonna go too far. I'm gonna make it run right now. And then we'll see where we go from there. There must be a time delay in the contactor. Got compressors. I was looking at this. That's an outdoor, that's to the outdoor fan relay. I'm guessing it's gonna cycle one of those fans as like a low ambient. Um, I haven't seen that. I guess that's a poor man's motor master. I don't know why. I guess motor master's too expensive. So let's make sure, because I've got to have a call. Let's make sure my stage two kicks in and then we'll go investigate and everything else. So it looks like the Belimo is controlling our staging. CC1 on, CC2 off. There's our supplier, Tim. That's what it was not seeing drop, so I was saying there was an issue. Outdoor air, probably about right. There was no return air, we saw that. Um, men position. Compressor two off, checking supplier, Tim. Okay, so it's just kind of waiting to bring that stage two on. Uh, that's wrong. I don't know why this is why too long, but it's probably just the call. So it gets the call coming in and it says it gives an output. All right, so we ought to be good there. I got to do some more investigating. We'll make sure the thermostat satisfies. Find somewhere better to put. Um. somewhere better to put our paperwork and then maybe look for that return air sensor maybe it does have a return air and or supposed to have a return air but everything feels good and looks good at this point easy fix right so we got two stages now we are looking good that alarm is the return air temp sensor not that it's not seeing um, Supplier temp 60. Uh, I'm, they, I'm sure they didn't set any of this up. There's no holes drilled for any static pressure or any temperature, so none of that was probably done. I can't tell. I don't know how they come set from the factory, but I mean, we're on A and uh, right in the middle, which would be my, I would think, where it would typically be set. So, Let's do a little research, figure out what we need to do here. We made it cool, so I'm happy with that for right now. And we'll see what they're supposed to have, who's supposed to start them up, and what they want to do. This is not the best place for a thermostat. But we're going to label it number three, because this is definitely it. And this should be capable of two stages, so... We're just writing everything up at this point. I've got information on everything. Let's go. Little electrical tape in that as a jumper rather than my alligator clips because they might fall off. And we don't want that happening. Let's go do that. So it's been running for a little while. We got a 55 degree supplier. Um, I'm not making any adjustments on this thing. We're gonna let them decide what they wanna do. I can't, uh, they called for a service call on this guy. I fixed it, I found our problem. We need to order that freeze protection and they had no complaints anywhere else. So I got one, two, three, uh, four new ones. If they haven't done a startup, they need to come back and do a startup. I don't, I'm not gonna spend the rest of the day doing a startup. That's, that's not my job right now. So my job is to, fix the air condition and we did that 
We'll try to keep track of all of our shove my manuals down in there. The condenser section's not gonna work, guys. Don't shove your manuals inside the condenser. There's not a whole lot of room inside here, I get it. And I wish they would give us somewhere to put stuff like that, because they always get shoved inside the condenser. And then they're useless by the time we get to them. So let's use that as a jumper and some electric tape. Go from that. Jumped. I'm not going nowhere and then we tape it make sure it doesn't short out anything or do anything stupid and then after you tape it fold over a tab on the end and now you got a tab to grab to untape it come off there nice and easy and we'll just put that right there Turn this guy back on and be good to go. It should be the only thing, like I said, I'm not doing anything else. Uh, we're just, I'm writing, I'm keeping it with facts. Uh, I found the freeze protection bad. Uh, everything's operational. The thermostats uh, looks like it should be capable of two stays, but we're not wired that way. Um, facts only. And we'll decide, hey, the installers need to come back and start them up, or we need to come back and spend a day or hours or whatever and start everything else up it's hot right now and i'm sure we got other stuff to do so i'm gonna go find something else to do leave a trade better than you found it i'll see y'all next time